they are back. After 17 years, brood X cicadas will emerge from the ground this spring by the billions. Yes, I said billions. While this great eastern brood are harmless to people, plants, and wildlife, these bulbous eyed insects are ready to make some noise and give everyone in Fairfax County a very loud wake up call. So cicadas are a large winged insect and um, even if you're not or if you've never seen them before, they're definitely a presence that you're familiar with. In the late days of summer, you're familiar with the large, long buzzing sound that they make coming from the trees. And they're about two and a half inches long, about the size of your thumb. They're kind of wild looking. They have red eyes, orange wings, and a dark kind of navy blue looking body. They're very cool. They will typically start hatching in about early May, um, possibly late April, or whenever the soil temperature reaches about 65 degrees because they are living in the soil for the majority of their life. And brood 10 is one that hasn't hatched in our region since 2004. So these insects stay in the ground the majority of their life cycle. And all at once, they, in a spectacular display of synchrony, they all come out, emerge from the soil, and then do their thing, uh, look for mates, lay eggs, and lay the next generation all within a span of four to six weeks. So cicadas are relatively harmless. They don't bite or sting, so they're not going to cause any problems for people or plants. This hatch is going to be a, a huge boon for wildlife. Um, these large clumsy insects are basically uh, a great source of protein, very nutritious, and it's going to be an all-you-can-eat buffet for basically anything with a mouth. So that includes fish, birds, snakes, mammals, anything, even your pets. Especially dogs actually enjoy eating cicadas, and that is perfectly okay in small quantities. Um, but if pets consume too many cicadas, they might get an upset stomach. In that case, you should contact your veterinarian. However, part of their life cycle involves laying their eggs in live twigs in trees. And so as a result, because of the sheer volume of insects that are going to be laying their eggs, this spring and early summer. You might see some dead branches in the trees around your home, which is also known as flagging. If you want to protect trees, especially younger or newly planted trees, we would suggest putting a fine net around the crown, something that has three eighths of an inch holes or smaller, and make sure that you secure that around the trunk so that the cicadas can't get in. We would really discourage folks from using any kind of pesticide for these insects. They're only going to be around for about a month so don't worry about applying any pesticides. They're really not harmful. One thing I, I want to have people focus on is that this should be a special event and not something to be worried about, not something, something to be scared about. These insects are really cool, so just take this opportunity to enjoy this experience. If you are concerned, you can, you're free to call the Urban Forester of the Day. We're available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That telephone number is area code 703-324. 1770, or you can email us at treemail at fairfaxcounty.gov. If you want some more information online, you can go to uh, the University of Connecticut's Cicada website. They have a really great resource on basically all things cicadas. You can also view the real time hatch update if you go to the website cicadamap.msj.edu. And you can even input your observations for when you see the hatches first start happening. You can also visit the University of Maryland's Extension, and they have a great website on the periodical cicada.